Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the Huawei P30 Lite sibling which is the Honor 20 Lite. However, as it was the case with the Honor 10 Lite and the Huawei P Smart, these are not the same devices. They are actually quite different. So let's start with the unboxing. Let's have a look what's in the box. And we've got the charger, we've got the Type-C cable, and that's pretty much it. There is also a SIM tray opening tool. Yep, it's right over there, and that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to show you the SIM tray in a second, how it works with the memory card and so on and so on. But let's have a look at the phone itself first. So we've got a triple lens camera setup, very similar to P30 Lite, however, also different. There is also a back-facing fingerprint sensor. So we've got the LED flash, we've got the triple lens camera system, we've got the volume up, volume down and a power button, we've got the SIM tray on the top, We've got nothing on the left hand side and we've got the headphone jack. Oh wow, wait a minute, it's a micro USB, not Type-C. We've got a micro USB and a bottom firing speaker on the bottom, then we've got a 32 megapixel camera on the front. Now in terms of the actual SIM tray, we have a... Let's have a look, okay. Right, oh, we've got either a dual SIM system or we've got the one SIM and a memory card. Luckily, it's a standard micro SD card. It's not uh, the nano SIM or any, uh, sorry, the nano memory card or anything like that. So we are covered. So yeah, it's a hybrid SIM setup. You can have either two SIM cards or you can have a SIM card and a memory card. Considering the phone itself has 128 gigabyte of internal storage, I have to admit that the memory card is not necessary, but you can put a, you can slide one in and it supports up to one terabyte in terms of memory cards. The phone itself runs on Android 9 and as you've seen Pi. Then in terms of the actual operating of the whole phone, it's very similar, if not the same as the P30 Lite. However, considering the P30 Lite is £329 and this is £249, you are saving some money but there are also some differences. So for example, the P30 Lite has a 48 megapixel, 8 megapixel and 2 megapixel unit on the back, where this one has a 24 megapixel camera. But then again, this phone, the Honor 20 Lite, has a slightly bigger screen at 6.21 inches, where the Huawei P30 Lite is um, 6.15 inches. So there are, like I said, some differences. Other than that, you do get the Kirin 710. So exactly the same processor, exactly the same amount of RAM, exactly the same screen technology. So LTPS, IPS, LCD, which means that the it's not an AMOLED. The colors are not as saturated as as not as vivid as on the. AMOLED displays of let's say P30 and the P30 Pro, but it is pretty decent. You do get the built-in Huawei Heisten sound effects, so as you can see it is a sibling to the Huawei brand. Um, they didn't even bother with changing the name of the Huawei um, Heisten uh, audio system. It kind of enhances the audio experience when you listen to music, when you watch movies and so on and so on. The actual bottom firing speaker is a bit on the quiet side, so I would recommend using the headphones themselves, but other than that, the audio is pretty decent, especially through the headphones. Now, in terms of the actual system, as you can see, it does look pretty much like the P30 Lite, um, but yeah, you've got exactly the same situation with the notch, so if you'd like to, you can hide it as well. Um, which is pretty convenient if you're a notch hater or you just don't, um, don't, don't, don't agree with the new trends of the notch displays or actually notch, dewdrop notch, water drop notch, however it's called. Obviously you do get the NFC, you do get the um, ability to do a, use a, it as a pocket hotspot and so on so on. In terms of pre-installed tools, we've got the built-in FM radio, we've got the party mode, we've got the phone clone, party mode allows us to listen to the same tune on up to 10 devices so you can do like a party one person plays a song and then it plays on up to 10 devices regardless if it's a huawei or a honor device in terms of the phone itself well actually the camera itself we've got the same assisted ai mode we've got the pro mode if you want to 
um, adjust some of the settings like the ISO, the shutter speed, the exposure value, the autofocus and so on and so on. It doesn't work in video recording unfortunately. In terms of recording videos that's another thing so the P30 Lite can do it in 4K, this one can do 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second. In terms of the camera resolution, you can take pictures up to 12, uh, up to 24 megapixels. However, like I did mention, um, the, 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 the P30 Lite does allow to up to 48 megapixels. Now, in terms of the actual bokeh mode and stuff like that, you've got two, uh, two versions of that. You've got the portrait mode, which does require a person, and then you've got the aperture mode, which allows you to take a picture of, let's say, um, an item um, like I'm going to do in a second with the Pringles box and allows you to adjust the background blur. Obviously, it's all artificial. It's all software based. It's not a hardware based, but it does. And the first iteration of that I remember was with the Huawei P9, the aperture mode. The very first portrait mode before the iPhone 7 Plus. So yeah, they do. It does work pretty well. Um, and as you can see, you can even adjust, obviously, software-wise, the aperture of the actual uh, photo and add some filters and so on. So as usual, there will be some samples at the very end of the video, samples of the pictures taken with the phone. So yeah, thanks guys for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye.